Yo, what's up guys? It's Shakey. Now before I get into the guide for part 2, today is Saturday and at 6 p.m. EST, we are dropping Musa is Bad, okay? So come watch me on Twitch. The live stream will begin at 5.50 p.m. EST. There will be a 10 minute timer. Once the timer is over, we will be live streaming Musa is Bad, alright? So make sure you guys come check that out. And once it is over on live stream, I will be hitting publish on YouTube and then you guys can come watch it on YouTube if you guys really would like to. But we'll be live streaming it. So make sure you guys come hang out. I think the video turned out really well and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It'll be a lot of fun, okay? But let's go ahead and get back into this Musa guide. Welcome to part two of the Musa guide. In this video, we are going to be discussing self buffs combos, debuffs, baiting, cross-ups, and large-scale playstyle. If you haven't seen part one, that is going to be in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out before you watch this so you guys have a little bit of a base understanding of what to do. But really quick, let's talk about the self-buffs. So the self-buffs on Musa are pretty easy. You're just going to do your forward attack into spinner. You're going to C-swap, rising storm, and then forward blind thrust. That's going to give you a 10% attack speed buff, plus 20 DP, and plus 30% crit rate. You want to keep this up as much as possible while you're PvPing. Um, this is more important for large scale, not so much 1v1, but if you want to play like that, go for it. And today we got my guildmate uh, Paxi, he's going to be helping me out. He's going to be my uh, training dummy for today, so you guys can see the combos. I currently have 240 AP with Kudum and... 252 AP with Nuver, but we're going to be using Nuver for this video and these combos are designed for high AP and uh, so just make sure you guys keep that in mind. I'm not going to be showing you guys a ton of combos, there are a lot of combos on Musa, but if you guys have a basic understanding of the CC system, you guys are going to be able to make a lot of combos. So. For the courtesy of Paxi helping us out guys, please go uh, sub to his YouTube and Twitch. He's actually brand new to YouTube, he's just starting it out. So if you guys want to go check him out, I put his links in the description as well, alright? Now for the combos, we are going to start with Dragon Bite and Cross Kick Q starters. Now because D Bite and Cross Kick Q are both stuns and both have forward guards, the combos are the same. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you one combo and then I'm going to show you it with a different starter. So you guys can practice them, okay? So the first combo, we're going to do Dragon Bite, Gale, C-Swap, Below the Belt, Crevice, Dash Slash, okay? As you can see, that combo is very powerful and it killed him. I do have 2.6k SP, so keep in mind I have absolutes when I'm doing these combos. Now that combo I just did is really good against players that have grabs. Now if your opponent is a little bit more tanky and they don't have a grab, you can actually extend the combo safely, but they're going to be getting up in the middle of your combo, okay? So here's an example of that. That's how you would extend it. However, if your opponent has the grab, I strongly urge you to either iframe or just chase out after the dash slash. Now the variation with cross kick Q is pretty much the same except we're gonna see swap after cross kick Q, which is the cancel I told you guys to practice in yesterday's video. And the combo is gonna look the same. It's gonna look like this. Now if you want to extend it, it's gonna look like this. Okay, now let's go in the next combo variation. We're going to be doing Dragon Bite, Back Chase, C-Swap into a Fiery Angel, Bull the Belt, Crevice, and Dash Slash. This combo is a little bit weaker, but sometimes this is what you got. The same applies for this combo. If your opponent does not have a grab, you can extend it. The combo can also be done with a cross kick Q, so that will look like this.
And again, you can get out as soon as the dash slash ends and it's a little bit of a weaker combo. The next combo variation is going to be a little bit of a risky combo to go for, mainly because uh, you're gonna be extending your CCs. However, you're gonna be doing more damage, all right? This combo is Dragon Bite, Back Chase. You're gonna C-Swap, Cross Cut to the left, Twister, Projection, Below the Belt, Crevice, and Dash Slash. The same combo can be done with Cross Cut Q as well. And for the final combo I will be sharing with you for the Dragon Bite and Cross Cut Q Engage is going to be Dragon Bite, Back Chase, C Swap, Below the Belt, Crevice, C Swap, Forward Blind Thrust. You're going to do Gale, C Swap, and then Cross Cut, Back Flow, Crevice. It's a little bit weird, but you're going to see it. And sometimes it's just going to come out naturally. All right, so now you can do the same thing with cross kick Q and it's going to look like this. So that's going to be how you combo off of your safe engages. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the gimmicky engages. So these are risks you're going to be taking. So with crust crusher having in a half forward guard, normally when I do crust crusher, I try to do a cross up of some sort. So I don't just cast it in front of my opponent. I try to get a back attack cross crusher so they can't just 180 and stun me, right? So what I like to do is with the gimmicky engage, I will do cross crusher, chase, C swap, and then we're going to do the combo from earlier. You're just going to go into a D bite gale. It's going to do a float. I'm going to show you guys right now. As you see, there was another float right there. This combo is devastating. They get hit by this, they're not getting up. Another way to do this is you can do Crest Crusher, the full the full on skill, and you go straight into a foul play, back flow cancel, Q crevice, and then you're gonna escape. And it's gonna look like this. That's going to be a Crust Crusher combo that I find is super devastating and I mean look you're going to be going from a gimmicky forward guard into a forward guard into a super armor so you have time to react to see if they reacted or they didn't get CC'd and if they're on the floor you can finish up with a dash slash. Now that you know that Crust Crusher combo just so you guys know you can also do that after D bite or a cross cut Q. So I'm going to show you guys the cross cut Q version. Just note you can also do it after a D bite. And you can also just do, keep it simple. You can do crest crusher, crevice into below the belt. And I would say those are your main uh, crest crusher combos that are gimmicky. And this would be my final gimmicky combo I want to share with you guys. This is a bit of a cross up and it's it's uh, it's a little tricky, okay? So um, it's gonna take some practice, but you're basically gonna be doing a cross up. I like to call it the forward thrust and dragon by a cross up. So it's pretty much just this, okay? So you're gonna have to learn that it's gimmicky. You can do it really quick. But pretty much with that gimmicky engage, you can do any of the combos I have shared with you previously. So I'll show you guys one example. One example is you go like this. The reason why that's actually pretty good is because your dragon bite is going to go to the back and if they're doing a forward guard or they're just sitting there, you're going to catch them off guard really quickly. So those are the pretty much main ways to combo off of Musa. There are a thousand combos for this class that this video could be 20 minutes if I really wanted it to be, but we're just going to keep it simple. If you guys just play around with the Musa kit and start exploring, you're going to find that you can replace a lot of skills with different moves. If you want an example of that, um, this is something I didn't share with you guys. The combo where I went with like the cross kick Q, below the belt, crevice, you can just do a rising storm, projection, dash slash, example. That's another example, you see? So 
my suggestion is that you guys uh, take a look at the CC system and just do a lot of practice and learn a lot of combos because if you can learn how to combo off of any engage whether it's your shift Q whether it's your dragon bite whether it's your cross kick Q whether it's fiery crevice you know whether it's twister whatever CC you hit it is very important you know how to combo off of it and you know how to do multiple float opportunities when the time is needed okay so that would be your basic combo guide for the Musa. Next up, we have debuffs, okay? So for debuffs, it's a little different. The purpose of debuffs is that if you know that your opponent is going to get up from a combo and not die, you can debuff them. Now there are a couple debuffs that Musa has, okay? Your forward blind thrust is a minus 30 melee accuracy debuff. Your Fiery Kravos is an attack speed and casting speed debuff. Check him out boys. Look how slow he is. That's literally a free super armor trade for you. And that's Musa's strength, super armor trading. Your other debuff is Blooming. You can fit in Blooming in a lot of combos. Blooming drains their mana so they can't cast any any uh, skills afterwards. So how are you going to put these in combos? Well, it's simply put, you have to shorten your combos. Otherwise, you're going to get CC'd right when you get up. So um, we'll keep it simple so that you guys can practice. Um, let's say you land a Fiery Angel, right? There's a combo I have to do pretty often, and then they're fully debuffed, and they can't move, okay? A really way to get the debuff off and still do a lot of damage is when you do your stun do the below the belt into the crevice bound because then your cc is fresh and you have time to do your debuff so i'm going to show you guys an example as you see back up slash has a down smash on it so a lot of the times it's going to hit and as you saw paxi trying to move he's super slow and a lot of the times with that combo they're also a mana drain so like it's a free death for you most of the time, sometimes they'll have a mana regaining self ability and then they'll potion and then they'll be fine. They'll just start blocking. But, you know, that is one debuff you guys can do if you feel like your opponent is too tanky. All right, now let's talk about uh, baiting slash cross ups. What do I mean by baiting? So a lot of the times with the Musa, you're going to be in a lot of situations where you're super armor trading, right? And I told you guys in part one that all of your super armors linger. So what do I mean by baiting? So I'm going to tell Paxi that I'm just going to throw some... So for example, if we're super armor trading and I'm lingering back flow and I see my opponent coming after me, I could back chase and while he does a skill, I can get a free back attack twister to him and he might do a forward guard and all of a sudden he's stunned. And that now gives me the opportunity to combo and kill him. So as you can see, I'm losing some of my core abilities there when I'm super armor trading. But that's the whole point of learning extra combos because if you catch your opponent and all your other combos are on cooldown, you need to know other combos so you can kill your opponent. That's why I made that a really big emphasis in this video. Another way to linger is off the back flow. You can see swap dragon bite, right? So you can do this. And then they might get CC'd. But let's say you want to really mess with your... Sometimes I found, and I've, I do this a lot, this is uh, some of the times where you guys are accusing me of shaking my camera, but I'm not. Uh, it's just simple camera rotations that I've practiced. So um, a lot of the times if I feel like I'm overwhelming my opponent, like they feel like I'm playing a little bit too fast or too aggressive, I've done a few things where I've been practicing cross-ups. Okay, so when I come off of a linger, I'll actually cross you up like three times. Right, you see how I'm just doing like cross ups that basically entails a 180 flip and the back chase. And you can do some stuff really quick. So like let's say if I'm in pre-awakening, it's even faster, it's even more dumb. You can do things like this. And a lot of the times they can't react to that. So that's what I mean by doing cross-ups. A lot of the times you might be overwhelming your opponent and they are simply just don't know what to do sometimes. However, 
Remember what I said, a lot of the stuff is gimmicky and unsafe and you can be punished, so you need to be very careful. But these are some good uh, cross-ups you can do to really get some good back attacks on your opponent. And you can do it after any super armor, guys. Not just not just backflow, you can do it off of blow the belt even. Right? So you can do it off of pretty much anything. Okay, now, the final cross-up I want to talk about is pretty gimmicky but it can be really useful and that is you can actually make cross you can actually make your fiery angel hit the back of your opponent from the front with a quick 90 degree flick like this okay or like this the right side so i'm gonna ask paxi to block back and i'm gonna hit him from the front he's walking backwards at the moment as you see i floated in that is because what's happening is my my fiery angel is actually hitting right here and because I flicked my camera the game was registering that I, that I hit him in the back. So a uh, fiery angel can go through forward guards. Alright guys I'm going to show you what to do when you run out of stamina and you're being chased. This works on every single class. So I'm running away right. I'm, let's say I'm low on health. Okay. Now all of a sudden I'm out of stamina. Cross cut chase, cross cut chase, fiery angel, rotate it. Cross cut chase, cross cut chase, cross cut chase, cross cut chase, rotate it, fiery angel. Look at my stamina, it's going up. And look, he can't catch me. No class can catch me in the game when I'm doing this, no matter who you are. Maywaz also can't catch you because only Musa can do this. And look, all my stamina is back. Now I can go back in and start fighting. See? So, very important you guys know that. That's a pretty pro trick, so. Uh, it's unsafe, but the thing is, dude, you're all the way out here. Your opponent's over there. They're not going to hit you. So, if you're out of stamina, do this. Another good thing to do if you're out of stamina, uh, the BSR Rage of version of Fire Angel is really good. It covers a lot of distance. Covers a lot of distance, so I'm sure you guys know about that. And the final thing is going to be your large scale play style. In large scale, guys, your job is to flank and super armor trade and throw crest crushers, nothing else. If you do any of the combos I have taught you from 1v1, you are dead. Unless you are doing a 1v1 off to the side. If you want to get multiple kills with Musa, you need to play safe. 24 7 okay so in, in large scale it's very important that you keep up this self buff 24 7 before you engage okay and basically all you're going to be doing is just super armor trades run away rinse repeat so an example of that is this so i'm going to do my, my self buff and then i'm running away now you see his health, he's almost dead. I'm 250 AP. If you're 261 AP, that's someone who's dead right there. That could be three people who's dead right there even. Now, if you notice that your opponents are CC from other teammates helping you out, feel free to follow up with a fiery crevice, but again, that's unsafe. Another way to do it, which is also gimmicky, but again, do your self buffs, okay? So you're gonna do self buff. Crust Crusher. Backflow, below the belt. Those are the only things you should be doing on large scale. Don't get fancy in large scale because there are a lot of people around and they're going to be hitting you. You should really only be sticking to two or three combos that are fully protected. Otherwise, you are going to die a lot. Make sure you guys practice, practice, practice. Learn how to combo off of every engage. Learn how to play safely. Self buff, debuffs. And most importantly, guys, learn your matchups. Learn the holes and super armors, forward guards, unsafe abilities, and all the other classes so you guys can wreck your opponents. Also, get super geared because Moosehead High Gear is pretty damn good. Alright? But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be the last of a Moosehead Guide that I ever post for a while unless they change a lot more but um thank you guys for watching make sure you guys sub to me you give a video a like and toss me a follow on twitch i'm out peace